What's up, guys? I'm Dave Mo. This is Dave Mo Flips, and we are going to do the Copart pick. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go down to this auction thing. So drop down. Let's go to the calendar. So we'll start with Tuesday. Let's see here. Let's try Atlanta. Let's just try it. See what happens. So again, you guys already know. I definitely like clean title cars. There's 108 of them here. I'm gonna go in order of make. Let's just start scrolling down, see what we have. This isn't my real account. This is an account I just made up to do stuff like this. Um, see, I like this 2011 Audi until I've seen the mileage. I remember, guys. Uh, even though it's clean title, if you see a RT, it usually is going to mean a rebuilt title, already inspected. I'm not seeing it, so let's go back up here and see what we have. I'm actually looking at this with you guys, so this isn't like I did it prior. Try to stay away from anything that has to do with, my, with uh, body work, myself personally. Not that there's anything wrong with body work, it's just I, I don't know anyone to do body work, so that's kind of where we're at. This looks like a good deal if I get out there and test drive it. Not test drive, but you know, start it up, see what it could do. Let's see. Land is not looking too good for us, I'm not going to front. Let's see, let's see here. Ah, 202,000 miles. Let's keep looking. 2500 Santa Fe, 124, four, five years old. Let's say five times 15, it's 36, five. That's, it's got some high miles to it, that's for sure. High for what we want to be in it, but the price looks right. And it says it runs, but it's mechanical. So let's take a look at this one. Let's see what we got. Let's look at the photos here. So you see it's a clean title. Let's see here. It looks clean from from, from what I'm seeing. I mean, you could definitely use a detail, no doubt about it. 124 on the clock. All right. I mean, not too terrible. Let's see what a motor goes for for this thing. Before we do that, I gotta get a Atlanta zip code. Let's do a 3301. 3301. We'll use that. We're gonna go right here, put the VIN number in there, and we should go straight to the engine. Oosh. This motor is looking pretty good. It's got the mileage we need. These are super expensive. This is too many miles. This one would work too. Right here. So we're looking at about $2,000 for a motor for this 2015 Santa Fe. Um, let's take a look. It's saying it's 11,000. I doubt that, but let's see. We can't do this, let's do this. It helps if we use Atlanta, right? Let's see, make this a little bit bigger for you guys. No cars and trucks. I like doing it by owner because owners are usually cheaper than dealers. 20, 2015, Santa Fe. Oh, wow. All right, well, let's see what this is. 71. I'd be confident that we could get ours off for about 11,000. 
it's 2,500 under because of our mileage. That's actually really pretty good so far. Now, you know, we got to see how much it costs to get the engine put in this thing. So it's a 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe. Let's see if it's a four by four. It is front wheel drive. So that makes it a two wheel drive. I don't know about any of this stuff. So we're just going to go Santa Fe. Let's see. Does it say sport? It is a sport. Again, the more information you can give, the the more accurate it's going to be. I believe it's a 2.4, but again, let's confirm that. Yep, 2.4. So here we go. We'll hit continue. Again, just engine. R&R. &R. There we go. Yes, we are. So it is uh, equipped automatic, and we are transferring parts from another engine. Basically pulley parts. Kidding me? That's a give me. That's a give me. So let's see. It's on approval, right? So two thousand for the motor. Let's say six hundred. Five hundred for the install. A hundred for miscellaneous. So we're looking at twenty six hundred. We're thinking we could get this thing off for eleven thousand, which actually they were pretty close. So eleven grand. So I'd like to buy this car for less than six grand. If I could get this for six grand, and, and then you know you throw the, the 26 on top of it. Now when I say six grand, guys, there was some confusion last time. The numbers I'm telling you is out the door. So you have to figure out where you are with the fees that Copart's going to charge you. It'll be different for me than someone that uses a uh, broker. So know, you know, know where you're at with that. If I could get this one for six grand and then throw 2600 into it, right? Now, I'm not talking about shipping or anything like that. This is strictly if I was in Atlanta, not me buying it from Tampa to bring it down. But even if I was to bring this thing down to Tampa, let's see here. Still only another 400. So put it like this. Let's just say I was going to do it. Six grand for the car, right? Out the door price. Um, let's use Atlanta's numbers. Two grand for the motor, 600 for install and miscellaneous, plus another 400 for the, for the tow. And I'm adding, you know what I'm saying? I'm rounding up. Like, that's $9,000 for this car total to flip it quick and make eleven. But six grand is where I'm going to be at with everything in terms of my highest bid. And I'm still going to walk away with two grand. And don't get too caught up, guys, on the fact that you're only making $2,000 because you're making that $2,000 quick. Like that should be a quick flip. You're selling it for $2,500 less than anything else that's listed. And it does have more mileage. But as of right now, this car right here, this this uh, 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe, looks like it will be my pick. And again, you know, it's two days to the auction. It's at 1300 Right now at this point, I would feel confident. I'd throw a bid right now at three grand on here. See where this other bidder is at with it. And as we all know, nothing really, really takes place until the last, um, you know, few, until the actual auction itself. So this would be my pick so far. So for Atlanta, I'm gonna pick the 2015 Santa Fe. But we only got this far, so let's see if there's a better one. Maybe I'll give you guys two. Let's we'll see. These infinities all day long. With that mileage, I don't know what it says in the front end. If it's hit, you can see it's wavy. Let's see. You know, it's scary because you, you know all. Oh, look at that seat over there—the driver's seat. That's terrible. Look at all the seats. This car, this vehicle has seen better days. Let's keep looking. 
You know, you know a person who I, I, I love infinities. A lot. Again, cars like this, like this little Jeep Liberty here, two grand, you know, depending on the damage, if you go there and inspect it, that could be the buy. Just for what we're looking at today, that's just not, you know, what it is f for me. Um, I try to stay away from Mercedes. A lot of these Mercedes and BMWs, you have to take back to the dealership to have them, uh, to have them reflash the ECU and stuff like that. Now this one is an Altima, the base. Yes, it's got 171 on the clock, but that buy it now is 1500. If the body's straight, which it looks like it is, the motor for this car, if I'm not mistaken, is only about $500. Let's, uh, let's take a little look to see what this motor costs here. I always go with the federal emissions unless I'm buying a car in California. Usually all it's going to be is a different manifold. Look at that, 300 right there. I want to see if we got some mileage of any of these. This is the one I go with right here. So it's got 90,000 miles on the motor, warranty available. I would call this guy up, get this thing 90,000 miles keep the paperwork and then when I go to sell it I would say it's got 90,000 on it um let's take a look over here yeah don't worry about that let's look at a 2012 it's a Nissan Altima 2.5 if you guys don't here let me confirm it for you so this way there's no naysayers all right 2.5 it's a 2012 Altima Says it runs, so it, you could get away with it running. Like, I don't know. It's off sites, so you can't even see it. But anyway, and let's see, starting bid is uh, I didn't know even bid on this thing yet. Oh, here, look, you could buy it for 1500. I mean, this is well, oh, sorry, I hate doing that, guys. This is this is the buy, you know, it's the engine. I think the motor to do the motor swap on this one was also under 500, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, we're doing all this. Wow, that's actually surprising. But again, it's 600 bucks. So 600, let's say, let's start including the 100 here for miscellaneous. So we're going to round this up to 600, tighten up our mechanic, plus 100 makes 7. Let's go back over here, 7. Let's say 3. Here's a thousand, and then let's just say we got it for fifteen, because we'll make an offer. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, listen, whatever the fees are, back them out for fifteen, so we'll be at fifteen out the door. So we're gonna be sitting in somewhere at in the neighborhood of um, what do we say? Uh, three hundred there, six hundred there, nine hundred. But so twenty four. Let's just see what they what kind of money they're bringing in. In Atlanta. Five, four. Like I said, guys, I like to look for the, the cheapest one because that's you know that's usually where we're gonna be at. And again, we're at twenty four hundred. We're at twenty four hundred dollars. One fifty one. Ours has one seventy, but remember, we're gonna also show them the paperwork that the engine has ninety thousand miles on it. Let's see surrounding areas. See, this is the one we looked at before too. No, this one has 168 on it. So we're in this neighborhood. We're here in this neighborhood. They want 39. We're gonna be in ours for 24, let's just say. We we put ours up for 35. And stuck to it a quick thousand dollars again the less money you spend the less you're gonna make
So if it's for some of you guys, it is. If it's not, it's not. But if that one runs or could be repaired, you save your money right there as well. The killer on that car is the mileage. But remember, when you come out, you just put a motor in it with paperwork to prove that you have 90,000 miles. So this would be number two. That the Ultima would be the second pick. You know, 121. I mean, you could get crazy with it and change the transmission too and do them both. But so far, I'm liking the Hyundai Santa Fe for, for Georgia. Let's see. Toyota Camrys, you know all day long with the Toyota Camrys. So it says side, so it's probably got a side impact. I mean, that's not so bad, but... Yeah. The damage on this doesn't look bad, right? But the scary thing about this car is the seller. No seller listed, which means it's not usually not coming from an uh, insurance. Let's see. It's a 19, 13,000 miles on it. Clean title. Why would this thing be here? Oh, there we go. So, all right, guys, I'm Dave Mo. This is Dave Mo Flips. This is my Tuesday, January 7th pick for Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. That's the car right there. This is everything you need if you are interested in it. And again, like I said, for me personally, I want to be in this thing out the door at six. Really, you know, five would be the ideal number, just a thousand, but still. And if you're not ready for something like this, and it does run, so quite possibly, you know, it's worth a ride out here, hear it, if the motor could be repaired, then, you know, you save them for more money. This is my Georgia pick. All right, guys, subscribe. Thanks for watching.